We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? <sighs> well, a few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? If you've got sick people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know. All kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. After that, I'll punch him right in the fucking face and kill his ass, and he'll never return and the whole group is gonna die. Oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know why they had to make these episodes so long. We made it. Clementine? Clem? What the fuck? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Yes, I Who's did. this? Uh, he didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax, I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Crazy. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. What medical supplies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well, you just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. He likes I'll see what touch. I can do. Take me to him. We can give you a beating, perhaps. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. I don't believe shit. Clementine. Clementine? She's gonna be in there. Isn't she? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine's drawing. Oh, please don't let it be something nice. Clem's drawings? But where is she? <sighs> she is outside. No, she wouldn't be that evil, would she? Uh, no, I don't want to use the fucking sofa. Not that gay. Clementine, you here? 
She's in one of these doors. No, she's not in here. Clem? This uh, bedroom door. Um, okay then. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Uh. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me. I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? And um, why don't you go in my bed? I don't know, I like... Oh, no! Damn it. Almost had a... Yellow 2 attic door. Is she up there? Don't see her out there. Clementine, you up there? No. Shit, where could she be? She couldn't be in this, could she? Okay, that's the door where we came from. Okay. I see now. Okay, so there's like no doors that Clem? way. Clementine? Uh. Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> I bet you if he just... Oh, well, I don't really care about them that much. I Clementine! Guess. Come out! Please! She... Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> you want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told what Clementine to stay put. She? What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I... Think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Take out the gun. Take out the fucking Clementine? Gun. Clementine! She's in the shed, isn't she? I kinda have a feeling she is. Yeah, that is definitely. What the hell happened back here? She's in there. She's Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. No shit, Sherlock. Maybe he went through the vent. Perhaps. There's no way I'm go coming through that. So.
I kind of want to finish off the job, but I guess that's not going to happen. Close the door. Holy, Holy shit. Swear. Shut up. <laughs> well, just wow. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? The bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. Yeah. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided, then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. 
That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Say out. Say out. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford... I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. <laughs> but that's just... I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Ooh, okay. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? <sighs> where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Listen. The game. Can't I come with you? Can I can I say yes? Can I? Yes, you can. Okay. Come. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm going to go get ready. <laughs> oh my god. This is a fucking long chapter as well. What is she doing? She's checking. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. Ben. I'm not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. How? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with it. Fuck you. Did you, you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? She if you help. take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Thank you, Kenny. Well, if if we have to cut someone loose, it's gonna be Ben. 